Hello and welcome. Today we're going to do some very basic copper plating and we're only going to do the practical part in this video. And I'm not even going to touch the chemical reactions and such. So what do we need? We need some copper wire which is going to be used to copper plate this metal washer. We also need a glass yarn with a lid so we can dispose the remaining liquid afterwards. We need some kind of acid and I'm going to use vinegar because it's very sour. Or etika in Sweden. I'm also going to use this power supply because this has a voltage output which I can set by myself. And I have also removed the end part which makes it easy to use these alligator clips. I'm starting off here by grabbing some copper wire. And of course you can use something else. For example a copper tube. I then roll the copper wire to a spiral. This is just to make it easier to get a good placement in the jar. I then use one alligator clip for each of the copper spirals. When both copper pieces are placed in the jar, make sure that the copper is not touching each other. I then add vinegar to the jar, but only as much so I can cover the copper pieces, or main part of the copper pieces. Make sure that only the copper is placed within the vinegar, and not the alligator clips. I am then connecting the other part of the alligator clips to the power supply. And as you can see, the power supply is not plugged into the wall yet. For this first step, I have set my power supply to 12V. Of course, you can play around with the voltage, but do not use more than 12V for security reasons. As you can see, the copper spiral to the right is bubbling, compared with the one to the left. This means that the right copper spiral is the minus pole, which we need to remember for later. After a few minutes you can see that the liquid is starting to get a bluish color. This means that the copper is released into the liquid or acid. Do not forget to do this in a well ventilated area. This is the liquid after 30 minutes. And now it's time for me to try to copper plate my washer. I'm starting off by unplugging the power supply from the wall. I'm then going to replace the minus pole with the washer or the metal object you want to copper plate. And in this case it was the black lead. And before I plug in the power supply again I have set the power supply to 3 volts since this was the lowest voltage I could use. But of course, you can play around with the voltage, timing and how much copper you have in the liquid. You can almost see the transformation directly. This is after just a few minutes. But in total I have roughly let my washer be in the liquid for around 30 minutes. And here you can see the result. Some say that the copper plating will stick better to the metal object if you let it dry for 24 to 48 hours before removing the excess materials. But yet I have not been able to confirm this by myself. Do not throw away the liquid into the sink since this liquid is highly dangerous for the environment. And here you can see the end result of our copper plating. If you want a shiny copper appearance you need to polish the copper. But make sure that you are not polishing it too long since it's only a thin layer and will easily be removed. If you liked this video you may like some of my others which you can find in the bottom of the screen. 
and please hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel grow. And thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.